Welcome back to Resident Evil, everybody. Episode 9, No Exit. Well, if you say so. <laughs> of course. Bit of hip-hop. So what the hell did you do? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. Hmm. Battery run out? Question mark. Ah, oh, that's very strange. Yeah. Don't tell me the battery's dead. Oh, this blows. The upside is this whole conspiracy is becoming clearer. to the airport on the double. Hey man, hold up. Might want to close that flask up before you get moving. Nobody's home. Even the other team's packed it in. So what are we doing here? <laughs> it's okay. I set up a back door. I can use any PDA to get us in. Well, why didn't you say that earlier? If my theory is correct, then the truth about Veltra was really too early to say. What? Are you kidding me? I don't want to jump to conclusions. I need more intel. So you're not even going to let your buddy know what you're thinking about? Okay. Right. Well, after a All quick right. costume Let's swap. Computer. Is Neria we haven't explored over here? My only hope is that it has a high-powered CPU. That would be tits. <laughs> that would be tits. Yeah. Let's hope they've got a I don't know i9 or something, shall we? All right. Oh, we could get lucky. Suppose a i7 would get us by, or even an r9 or an r7. Something like that. Okay. Now, hopefully there's no more of those invisible hunters. Ah, who am I kidding? It's only a matter of time. Come on. Ooh, okay. Um... Wasn't exactly... Expecting them to be here. Right, now, you see the problem here is we're kind of stuck. Big time. So let's just move, shall we? Ah, right. Well, that was a waste of uh, material and weapons and equipment. So, in my recovery, uh, I've been playing some Far Cry 5, actually, with uh, my partner. And that's a surprising amount of fun, I must say. I haven't pl actually properly played a Far Cry game since Far Cry 3. So, yeah. Yeah, it's quite fun. Flying around. Doing stupid things. Taking off in an aeroplane. And then jumping out whilst she's in the passenger seat. <laughs> uh, I mean, that would be awful. Don't do that. Right. Let's go. So what really sucks here on this difficulty is when you have these special holdout sections where you've just got to survive. You've got 150 rounds. That's, um... Uh, that's not a lot. Still, we will do what we can. At least there's plenty of grenades and things. What else do we have? Real in the flesh MB28. Grinder, it's what I always wanted. 
Uh, good. Gadgets like a flight of horseshit. It's just a computer. Oh, there's a lot of rocket launchers all over the place. What the hell? Nothing's happening. There's a, quite a few what herbs do, too. Is that me? I need more power. The MB28 is a real gas guzzler. Right. Yeah, all right, dude. Okay. Let me just collect just stuff. Spend quality time with your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sure he will. So we have explosives everywhere, which is nice. Has he still got that? Yeah. Yeah. He's still got that thing on his back, like Kit from Knight Rider. Ooh, the G18. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll take the G18, sure. Notice how we're not finding a lot of things to scan and pick up. Well, that's okay. Here we go. Let's rip the band-aid off. Rusty piece of crap works. There's not enough power to fully charge the MB28. Alright. Are there any other generators? Probably. <clears throat> Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, you can start analyzing so things. No, I gotta get through the layers of encryption on this thing first. But that should only take a few minutes with me and my baby MB28. Here we go. Um, this might be a better choice. Because this handgun fires crazy fast. Don't want to hit those barrels, not just yet. Although that is much easier said than done. Whoa, this G18 is nice, actually. Has a hell of a cycle rate. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh god. This thing basically fires as quick as you pull the trigger. Which, man, is nice. Oh, hey, Hunter. Oh my god. She's actually probably pretty fast, dude. It's just, you know, time is not exactly on our side here. You know what? Okay, I was trying to... Uh-oh. <sighs> trying to blow that. Uh, why are my... Uh, grenades and things not working? This is a problem that we've had before. Definitely a problem we've had before. Right, let's just nuke the area. Oof. Yep, one of the Jennies has definitely gone down. It's surprisingly difficult to hit those barrels sometimes. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. There we go. Grenades. Grenades. Use the grenades. Wrong one. Ah, shit. I thought it might be the wrong one. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Alright, let's keep the decoys at the ready, shall we? Neutralize all the enemies, it says. That'll be simple. Surely, how hard could that possibly be? Uh, We're at 54%. Yay. Okay. We're to win it now. Yay. Here we go. Here we go. He has a lot of enemies today. No shit. Come on. Yeah, he, you are going to owe us big time. 
in fact. Ooh. Got lucky there. Not really sure how you're going to make this up to us. Ow! 80%, huh? Man, this shotgun's weak as piss. Oh dear. Yeah, invisible monsters. Got ya. Uh-oh. Doggy. Oh god. Ow. My brain. My brain. That's not what we want to throw, is it? But it will do. Oh god. That's fine. We shall keep handling all of this stuff coming at us at rapid succession. Ooh. Uh-oh. Run. Must run. Must run faster. Must run faster. Boop. Okay. Now, I want to say that the, pro the percentage of progress is based on how many monsters we kill. I have no idea how accurate that is. I guess it's not accurate at all. So this G18 really is what you need. Hey, don't you go worrying about genies and bottles, alright? Nobody worry about genies and balls. Okay, I think it's safe to have a look at this data now. Oof. Hold your horses. I'll be there in a sec. Okay. That was not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Like, I thought that was gonna be really difficult. <laughs> right, right. That explains it. Explains what? Who's behind Veltro? Yeah, probably. There's only one way to find out. Let's ask him ourselves. Uh, this is Forkball. O'Brien here. Huh? What the hell? O'Brien's our man? Director O'Brien. I think I put it all together. Veltro was never back in action. It was all smoke and mirrors orchestrated by yourself. Your own little Veltro production, all to get into the head of one certain somebody. Ah, uh, you pretty much got it. Evil science gnome. I'm not paying you for nothing. I analyzed his logs, sir, and there's something you may want to see. Then let me see it. Yes, sir. I'll send it immediately. What's going on? Connection error? Uh -huh. We've been detected. That's bad. Oh. Hey, quit, two boys. Uncovering secrets. Want it dead or alive. Just like a falcon in a snowman. <laughs> you want to start with your machine, idiot? Dude, hold up. I'm on. Or was it? So it was all a ploy to bring Vulch, uh, to bring uh, Luna, to bring the evil science gnome, Morgan. His name Morgan? I forget. Been a weird week. Um, out of his little hiding place. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. He wanted them dead so bad, he carpet bombed the entire area. <laughs> I 
Okay. <laughs> we need to stop the virus from getting out. <laughs> yeah. I know. The control system must be in the lab. Uh, Chris, you could have turned up wearing something sensible. Chris. Just saying. Right. Well, it looks like we have lasers there, Chris. Chris. Right. Uh, yes. We want to push the button. Now. Sorry, Chris, but you're kind of stuck over there. Don't worry. I'll handle this. Maybe. There we go. They like those visor things, don't they? Those light shows. Curious. Oh, it won't open. No, oh, that's unfortunate. Ah, right. Got ya. Okay. Now we can't grab another herb, can we? No. Uh, okay. Must be some kind of locking mechanism. Well, Jill, do you have the magic finger? It would appear that you do. Look after those fingers, Jill. Right, item found. A lovely. I think there's like a weapons uh, ammo pouch thing here somewhere. Uh, completion of new type virus. The T abyss virus contains genetic material from both the abyss and the T virus. In and of itself, it's not much of a threat, but it has allowed us to lay the groundwork for the study of weaponized marine viruses. I fear, however, that my name will someday be known for assisting with the production of the world's most terrible weapon. Uh, if a concentrated liquid form of the virus were to be released in large enough area of the sea, our data uh, indicate that it would contaminate all of the world's oceans in a very short time, starting with bacteria. At the point of contamination, then causing a chain reaction that would impact all forms of sea life. Once the T-Abyss virus contaminates an area of the sea, it will cause mutations at the genetic level to all life forms in the area. It would be impossible to predict the severe ecological impact on humanity. I have doubts to whether the research I'm doing here is actually to prevent bioterrorism and biohazardous outbreaks. <gasps> you mean, you were being lied to? No. Surely not. Right. I'm sure there's actually a handprint here somewhere as well, but a little bit further on maybe. Oh, we've got ourselves a shark, dude. Oh god. Wow, they can take three shots from this thing. So it's four shots is the magic number. And then one shot from that to take it down. Got ya. Right, well, smoke them if you got them, I guess. Plenty of herbs. Oh, hi. Hello. I see you. Oh, yes, I do. Right in the head. I like the way they scream like a people when you shoot them. Should they really be screaming like a people? I don't know. Maybe. Aha. Oh, God. I knew it was here somewhere. Oh, come on. Okay, that's not working for some reason. There we go. More magnum rounds. Definitely gonna need magnum rounds. So Veltro's agents, journal two. 2004, mission elapsed time, two plus days. The mission was a uh, success. Terra Grigia is now a full blown hell on earth. We unleash the ultimate virus to rend 
the city with terror and vi violence. The FBC sent its soldiers, but they were like lambs before lions. We have achieved our goal. The world will know that they do not have to wait for hell. It is already here. Open your eyes, world. Open your eyes to the truth. 2004 mission elapsed time, five plus days. This ship has been contaminated. The virus has turned my comrades into horrible monsters. And these monsters turn everybody else into monsters. Why is this happening? Uh, we were going to bring hell to the masses, not have hell brought to us. The same thing is happening at the Samarimus. The virus has contaminated all the ships. It cannot be a coincidence. Somebody was using us all along. <gasps> but who? None of us would ever betray Voltro. The only one who would do this is our mysterious financier. He is the man, the only one who's not there or not here. Norman, we need your guidance. Deliver us from this evil. Yeah, it's like a religious cult. It's weird. Nice. Illegal custom parts. Uh, Malacoda development materials. The development of codename Malacoda happened by pure chance. We were infecting various species of fish with the Tiavis virus as part of our research into marine-based BOWs. By chance, one of the test subjects was contaminated with parasites. The parasite is the Gyrodactylius solaris, a small monogenian ectoparasite. When Tiabis is used to infect the host, it not only affects the host, but the parasite as well. The unique mutations formed by the dual infection have allowed us to improve our overall BioW development. A larval, mal larval malacoda is about one centimeter in length. Because it is so small, it can be used as a parasite to infect the host by secre secreting a liquid that contains the virus. The parasite mutates inside the host and matures rapidly. Perhaps the synergistic effect of the T abyss and the secretion causes an increase to the uh, metabolism of the organism. Um, the size to which the Malacoda can develop is contingent upon the size of the host. While clinical tests have yet to be carried out, if a whale were to be used as the host, there's no limit to the size of the Malacoda. Ah, so that's what we are fighting out. Well, no, we haven't got that far yet, have we? Oh, he's pretty, isn't he? That's cool. Kind of like a weird low poly model. He's not quite so low poly, is he? Well, that's fine. You can attack Chris all you like. Chris is invulnerable. You want to come alive, buddy boy? There's something very smooth and satisfying about that. Alright, well, he doesn't want to come out and play. Chris kind of looks like he wants to come out and play, though. We're not allowing Chris to come out and play. 